10 things I did on my fitness journey that I would not do again and I would not recommend you do. Number one, whenever I got an injury, I would just stop training. I know now that this is one of the worst things you can do and it will likely slow your rate of recovery and also create a negative relationship with exercises that are actually just fine. Two, I did this diet at one point that was literally skipping meals for the entire day and then having one massive salad that was like 3,000 calories in the evening. It was torture, it was stupid, and it was pointless. Not thinking that calories mattered. I thought when I first lost a bunch of weight that it was because I was increasing my metabolism or some other BS, but it was really just because I was eating more food volume but less total calories. Training to failure all the time. Current research actually shows that training to failure does not give you any better results for strength or muscle growth than submaximal training. Feeling like I needed to go hard or go home. Again, complete BS. The best way to go hard is to go consistent, and that's what's gonna give you long-term results. I actually tried this BS green tea fat burner supplement type thing at one point, and yeah, don't waste your money on any fat burner supplements ever. Trying to force other people to care as much about working out and fitness as I do, that's not what actually gets people to care about fitness. What gets them to care about fitness is by being a good example and showing them that it's fun and enjoyable and it's going to help them improve their quality of life and get more enjoyment out of life. Eating clean, I went through this phase where I thought like any food that was not like clean food was gonna make you fat and then eventually I learned that it is not that that makes you fat, it is excess calories that makes you gain weight regardless of where those calories are from. Nine, thinking that barbell lifts were the only way to get strong or build strength. They are not. You can build comparable amounts of muscle and strength doing other lifts. It's just that barbell lifts are pretty efficient and they hit a lot of muscles simultaneously, so they're great, but other exercises and other types of training are also great, or at least can be. Before I give you number 10, if you liked the first nine, make sure you follow me at Johnny Reps Fitness. And number 10, trying to abide by some arbitrary standard of either strength or look or body fat percentage or something else that's just completely made up. The only reason why you should be working out and the only reason why you should be trying to lose weight is for yourself, for your own reasons, not for anybody else, not to hit some standard, not to impress other people. It is for you. And for the longest time, I didn't do that, but now, I'm trying to do that. Hopefully, I'm doing okay.